This part up here is a little bright. I want to make it a little bit darker. And again, this is something that you could have done. This is a technique that you could have done for the top of the box and the bottom of the box to help color do the color correction instead of doing that Photoshop technique with the world space normal. You could have gone in here and just gone in here and used a color correction uh, node to come in here and color correct this. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go back to my base color. I'm going to duplicate that layer once more. Where is it? Duplicate layer. And then I'm just going to call it CC for color correct. And then I'm going to select the texture itself, right click, and I'm going to say add filter at the bottom of this menu. And then I'm going to go to filter right here, click it again, and I'm going to pick, I know this is kind of going off screen here, so I might have to move this over. So if I pick filter, color correct. And this gives me color correction for shadows, midtones, and highlights. Line that back up. A little bit right there. And if I play with it, you can see it does the whole texture. So again, this is where we're going to add another mask. So I'm just going to right click anywhere on the actual layer for the color correction and I'm going to add a black mask and then with a white brush I'm just going to use the bracket keys to change the size I just paint where I want this effect to be so it put it in there go back to the color correct so you have to double click on the actual thumbnail image and that gives you the color correct then cut pick on the color correct itself and then now you can go to the shadows and play around with color correcting this little part. I'm making it just a little bit darker and color correcting it. So I'm just doing that little bit of part. So if I could turn it on and you can see I just made that a little darker and I can go back, I'll click on the mask, make it a little bit bigger, and then I'll work with a softer brush and kind of paint that in. I'll hit the X key to flip it, and then I'm just going to take some of that out. There we go. So I color corrected for this little part up here because I thought it was a little blown out. And then I can also color correct for this little price made in the Philippines um, sticker on the bottom. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll go to base color. I'm going to duplicate it again. And then I'll do another color correct sticker. And I'll put a black mask I'll come in and I'll use a white brush and I'll you know what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit bigger here and then I'll make it a harder edge brush right there and I'll make it a little bit almost size and drop it once on there and now I'm gonna go click on it double click on the image and right click, add filter, and color correct. And let's play with the midtone. Let's play with the highlights. Yeah, there we go. Highlight will brighten that up just a bit. A little bit of saturation. Let's do the midtones. Make that a little bit brighter. And let's play with the contrast. There we are. And that just made that sticker on the bottom pop out a little more. So again, you can use that technique to do other parts of the model. It's really handy to use. Just turning the light around just to make sure it looks all good. Alright, now I've gone in there and I've 
made my maps and I've done uh, any corrections I want to do. I've added metal to it. Now ready to export it out. So let's do that. Let's head up to the top. Go to File. Export Textures. And if we go to the texture sets and we go to the box shader, we'll drop the little arrow here. And you can see all the different maps that it's going to make. We definitely made some few corrections on the base color, so we do want to make a new one of those. Roughness map, we definitely want to do that. Metallic, yes. Normal, yes. Uh, the height and the emissive, no. Uh, we don't need those maps, so we can modify uh, this particular configuration to get rid of those and also I want to maybe export the ambient occlusion out if I wanted to use it even though I did make it one in uh, X normals but I might like this one better so I, I just want to give myself the option to export some of those additional maps so let's go to config and then I'm gonna pick the PBR metal rough I'm gonna right click on it I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm going to double click on it and then let's just open this up just a little bit and I'm going to come in here metal rough and let's just do AO to it so I'm going and just adding AO to that name and in here I'm just going to get rid of the height so there's a little X and the emissive and there we go we've got those maps and now if I want to add some maps to go out all I got to do is come up here to create. I want to do an RGB. There it is. And let's see. Input maps. We got the base color. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Mesh maps. We want to export those. So this ambient occlusion. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click hold and drag until I put it right where it says RGB. See how it changes from do not enter sign to a plus sign and now you're gonna say okay enter it in as a great channel there it goes so it puts it in and then I'm gonna copy this name of the texture put it down here so I'm gonna just copy and paste and I'm gonna change that normal to AO and that's how I go in there and make a AO map from that so it's pretty easy uh, to make if you want to do one for a curvature map or whatever you can export the mask by grabbing it from the mesh maps and making a new channel and dropping it and renaming it pretty easy all right so now I've configured this I'm gonna go back to export I'm gonna go to config and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna get the drop down menu and I'm gonna scroll around here until I find the PBR metal rough AO and there you go now you can see the maps that are gonna get generated uh, from this config output config so I'm gonna just make sure this is gonna go to the appropriate directory up here at the top I'm gonna click on it and that's not where that w I want that to go I'm gonna paste in my directory here hit enter there we go I'll say select that folder and then I want it to be a ping 8 bits per channel that's fine and I'll hit export and now I'll <clears throat> open up that folder oh it disappeared again there it is and there you go now I've got the AO map the color map my metal map my normal map and in my roughness map looks good to me so now let's start to put this inside of marmoset tool bag and bring everything together